So let me show you a quick uh, demo here of, uh, of how a data function works. These are points on a map in uh, Western Canada, and the filled circles are where we have data, uh, and the uh, and the, the the hollow circles are where we don't have data. And the, our job here is to estimate uh, values for where those hollow circles are. Um, so I'm going to insert a data function to do this, and um, basically construct some contour lines on this on this map. So let me uh, insert a data function. I've created this, I'll show it to you in a little bit, this contour lines data function. Um, and now I'm just merely map the columns in my Spotify analysis to the inputs of this uh, data function. So for the uh, longitude, I'm gonna pick off this longitude column. Uh, for the latitude, I'm gonna pick off this uh, latitude column. Uh, for the value that I want to do the contour analysis on, I'm going to pick off the geology value that I'm looking to smooth. And then for the, uh, the smoothing parameter, I'm going to pick off a, a property in the, uh, in the Spotify file. And then I'm going to return the data uh, from the, con the, the tear R analysis as a new data table, contour lines. I simply click OK. And that uh, data, the tear data function is uh, analyzing those uh, data to construct these contour lines. And now I've got this new data table contour lines that I can drag onto this uh, map chart. And, uh, and there are the data. Now I can, uh, the integration is so tight, I can quickly go in and change the appearance of this. So I can move those contour lines, you know, up to the top of the, of the, of the stack here. And now I can edit the settings of those uh, to make those lines a little thicker. I can change the colors uh, to s map into the levels that I've uh, fitted in the contour analysis. I can make the, the high level match the red color, which has been used for the coloring of the points, and the low value to the, the blue uh, value. And so there, in a few mouse clicks, I've fitted a contour uh, model to the data. I've brought the lines on top of the map chart very accurately, and I've shown those uh, in color and uh, in the thickness that allows you to quickly see that. Now that is a data function that, uh, that you saw me map. So there you saw an example of a Spotfire tear data function to add contour lines onto a map chart. Uh, 